I'm not so sure if uh, this appeared in your affidavit or in Matobatos, but I think at one time, ah, in your affidavit, sir, at one time you did not follow an order to kill. Yes, yes. Because the one that he wanted killed was Father Pete Lamata. Yes. Why, why did he want to kill Father Lamata? Wanted to kill Father Pete Lamata because Lamata, during his uh, homily, always attacked Duterte. In his homily? In his homily. And Duterte wanted me to shoot Lamata. Mm. I said, Mayor Duterte, no, no, we will use knife. And he said, Make it pastel, Arthur. That is one million. Padel Pitlamata. Including Kibuloy will be another one million. That is true. That is true. That's why I daily dally the order mm-hmm. with uh, Jim Tan. I did not follow the order. I did not follow the order, but Sunny give me 200,000 as operational fund. But the funding for me, Dr. For, against Father Lamata, for me, Dr. T, 1 million, and for Kiboloy is 1 million. So you dilly dallied and uh, until you never got to kill Father Lamata, no? Yes, until uh, the time when Lilo, because it was uh, the aftermath of the election. Ah, oh, yes. Yes. Yeah, I've heard of this that uh, Duterte was very angry at Father Pete Lamata. Usually, sir, he gets angry at people when these people criticize him. No, I think that's the same thing that happened with uh, uh, June Pala. Yes, yes, yes. Sir, another question. Were you at La Udquari when Leila de Lima and her investigators from the Commission on Human Rights uh, went there? Uh, were you aware that Duterte wanted De Lima assassinated right there and then in La Udquari? Well, uh, the truth of the fact is that uh, I was not there. Mm-hmm. But I was not the plan because we, Duterte and me, and I've been out in SPO for Sunny Benintura, talk about this uh, the De Lima assassination, but not Ambos. Because Ben out doesn't, doesn't agree that. Uh, Senator or Commissioner de Lima will be ambushed in his property mm-hmm. because the, the main suspect at that time it could be loud, been loud in our group. Okay. But the other option of uh, Sunny Bilabentura is to kill de Lima through a sniper. Okay, okay. Can you tell us about that, sir? What was the plan? Yes, the plan is to uh, kill de Lima, I think, somewhere in Bahada or Insular Hotel. Okay. In Sudan Hotel, okay. something like that. But uh, it was uh, not materialized because of the trees of the Insular Hotel. Many trees. So you, you were part of the meeting that planned? Yes. Yes. At the at the residence of Mayor Duterte. In fact, Mayor Duterte cooked a sausage, a sausage for our, for our lunch. What happened, sir? How come the assassination did not materialize? Did not materialize because of the area. In Insular? In Insular. And there's so many security monitoring there. I see. I see. But the the uh, the desire to kill Senator um, CHR Commissioner De Lima came from Superman himself. 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 I was being called by Superman into his residence. Me and his people, Sane Binabintura, and his people, Binbaud. But Binbaud refused the ambush. Why? Because the people will put to it Binbaud as the mastermind and it will reach Duterte at that moment. I, I, told, I told Duterte, this is crazy idea, sir. Why not use? Your rifle. Rifle? Rifle. Sniper rifle. Ah, sniper rifle. Okay. So, the, the man who take the idea who will conduct the sniping on uh, Commission of the Lima is Sunny Benevitura. 
wow that's a new story sir because the one that came out in the media was more about the laud quarry because yeah. it came from matobato yes because i think matobato matobato he was in laud quarry at the time in laud quarry at that time at the he was oh, yes he was being uh, prepared to be used at that time prepared to be used yes i see so then that corroborates what he said no So let's focus on Aldong Parolino. My question is, why did Superman order the killing of Aldong Parolino of Osami City when Superman was already president? A lot of people are asking that, no? And uh, many many believe that it's not only because Aldong Parolino was involved in drugs. Was there a drug relationship between the two? Yes. That we do not know. Can you tell us? Yes. It was a uh... It was uh, Mayor Duterte and Mayor Aldo Perrino when they met, including Captain Magasait. At the time, when I was uh, the personal escort of Captain Magasait, why Aldo Perrino was assassinated, including his family? Yes, why? Because Aldo Perrino knows so much of Duterte, of the drug trade of Duterte. Of the drug trade? Of Duterte. Especially the brother of Michael Young in Cagayan de Oro City. And one thing, meron pang gustong ipapatay si Mayor Duterte kay Aldo Palohino na Mayor sa Misamis Occidental na limutan ko lang ang pangalan pero hindi pinatay ni Aldo. Ah. Isa yun, nagkalit na siya doon si Duterte dahil ito parang taong ito ay Pilipino U.S. citizen pero working with the U.S. DAA. Oh! I see, I see. Sunog na si Duterte sa tinuod lang sa U.S. Drug Enforcement Agency. Digong, sunog ka na. It was Superman who wanted this mayor killed and killed. he asked Parujino to kill. kill. But it did not happen. It did not happen. That's why he killed Parujino including his wife. Because they knew. They knew. So, they knew. They knew so much. So, uh, a lot of people, sir, in the Philippines are thinking that uh, it was uh, one reason why he had Parohino killed also was because uh, in order to contain the drug trade, because he considered also the drug trade of Parohino as a competitor. competitor. Yes. Okay, going back now to Laud Quarry. What happened in that incident in Laud Quarry when the, there was a rape of drug pushers? You said that the the death squad killers themselves were asked by Duterte to rape? Yes. Did I hear yeah. you correctly on that? Yes, I witnessed it. You witnessed it? I, I uh, not only hear it, Duterte instructed to rape this uh, suspected female drug uh, users but also we were required we were required to be an audience during the, the during the rape during the rape investigation or investigation with rape so who raped who did the raping well uh, uh mostly uh, mostly it, uh your colleagues ma- no no uh they were a civilian Civilian assets from Civilian uh, assets okay. from Aldo Rebel Returnist. And they were present during that investigation in Laud Quarry? Yes. And uh, Superman was also there? Superman was also there. Yes, he was. He was there. So he was a spectator to the rape? A spectator. We, we were the spectator we was because uh, we were required by Superman to witness that after the rape, kill the victim. So what the F podcast? Walang murahan, usapang facts lang. Pakinggan kami sa YouTube, Spotify, Google Podcast, at Apple Podcast.